I should not have ate a sandwich that big. <laughs> What is up, my Anawebi type people? Welcome to Shareware. If you are watching this on the Hamilton Time channel, then kick on over to Shareware, because that's where all of this content lives now. Uh, today, we are reviewing, because why not? Uh, I wanted something that incorporated technology with automotive, so we are testing the 2015 Audi Q7. Uh, this has the, uh, it's the 3.0T, which the T is pointless because this has a supercharger in it. We have 280 horsepower, uh, close to 300 foot-pounds of torque, but it's supercharged, not turboed. Uh, this model right here happens to be the Lava Gray model, which again is kind of a false indicator because lava is red, and we all know that. Pumice is gray. They should have called it Pumice Gray, but that doesn't sound as cool, so it makes sense. Anyways, we're going to drive around, rattle out some information about this thing, and I'll tell you what I like, what I didn't like, what I wish they would have done differently, if anything. First of all, uh, we have the sport mode, drive mode, and then you can, you can manually shift it. It is a uh, dual clutch system, eight speed, automatic. Um, I'm finding that with any dual clutch vehicle that I've driven, there's always an odd shift lag when it's downshifting. So for whatever reason, putting this in sport mode seemed to fix a lot of that. I wouldn't drive this thing really in any other form but that. Uh, being an Audi, you get, I mean, you, there's a gigantic list of all the options this thing has. I mean, everything from like, what most things come standard with now, like your, your rear camera, but I mean, this thing has heated wheel, heated seats. It's very comfortable. The wheel, it's so sporty. I really like that. Feels really good. I've driven a lot of cars recently where there's a little play in the wheel. This thing, it, it feels sound. And it, it's very responsive on the corners, which is really nice. MSRP on this thing is about 50K, which it looks it. I'm gonna be honest, it, it does look, it looks like it's worth the money. A lot of times, you know, You'll, you'll pull up in a new vehicle to one of your friend's houses and they'll ask you how much you paid for it and they'll give you that like Derek Rose's kid's face, that look, and they're just like, I don't think you should have paid that much. This thing looks like it's worth that. Zero to 60 in this thing comes just under eight seconds. So you're not gonna win any races, but you're not gonna get ran over either. And the torque band is in the, the upper two, low 3,000 RPM range. So you really it feels snappy off the line it kind of fizzles out after that, but it's not bad. It's really not. It's a little un unimpressive when it comes to speed. And it's also a little unimpressive when it comes to miles per gallon, which combined you'll get about 19 using premium gas, which I mean, it's, it's pretty much smack dab in the middle of the pack. You're not getting anything too impressive for the amount of money you're paying. But again, Audi has always been known to do this thing where they'll take like they'll make one super impressive vehicle for each version of their vehicle. Like you get your S model of anything and it's like the perfect example of like harmoniously mixing technology with performance. And then with everything else, they kind of just throw whatever motor they have lying around into it. And that's kind of how I feel with this thing. The motor's not impressive. Vehicle itself, super nice, pretty roomy. Uh, and the vehicle's great, motor, not the greatest thing, but I mean, again, you expect that with Audi. BMW, they, for whatever reason, BMW, whether it's, you know, a 428 or an M4, they, they try to beat its direct competition. Audi, for whatever reason, doesn't seem to do that. And that's okay, as long as you're willing to spend the extra money to get what you want, if you want an Audi. Uh, this thing is the Quattro model, which means that we do have all wheel drive, which again, plays into how responsive the steering is. Uh, I, th I thought being, you know, this thing's damn near three tons weight wise, I thought I'd feel a lot more body roll than I do. And you really don't feel any body roll. Uh, it's, it feels like you're just in a big car and that's not a bad thing. You're getting a crossover because you want that car feel with the ability to carry things, haul things, or store things. And so this is kind of the best of both worlds. And you kind of feel like a badass driving this thing. It, I, I feel underdressed. I feel a little bit like Pierce Brosnan. Like if he sold his condo and lived in the suburbs and had two children that played soccer, uh, but still like scotch. That's who I feel like. You, you, you feel wealthy, 
but safe. And that's a good feeling. It's a comforting feeling. I'm looking at both of you. Miles per gallon, not that great. Performance, not that great. But it's got 12 cup holders and the upgraded Bose 14 speaker, 1000 watt system. And any vehicle that has those two things that can A, accommodate my massive love for Rockstar energy drinks and B, give me surround sound of Drake, I can get behind. I don't hate it. Anyways, guys, that is it for this one. Let me know if you have any questions regarding the vehicle and I will try my best to answer them. Uh, this was my first time driving it and I gotta say, I am pretty impressed. I've driven BMWs. Uh, I can see why they're direct competitors. It's very similar. It's these German automakers. They definitely know what they're doing. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think I should try to test drive next. Uh, we're trying to do this a little more often. Uh, I know that the channel is supposed to be for technology and automotive, and I have been lacking on the automotive side, so I'm trying to step that up a little bit. Anyways, guys, love you all. Deuces. I don't know if it's for someone with a smaller hand or if it's meant to, you know, have like a, a two-finger hold here, but it's it's kind of like holding the curveball, which I feel like is fitting for this vehicle because Audi is basically throwing you a curveball here, giving you two vehicles in one. Cut that shit.